Mr. You, you speak one of? No, no, no. I am 30 kilometers away from Dakar and I'm currently at the Yeah. Okay, we, are, we are finally here. We're finally here. Hold on. Hold on. It seems it's, it's not deep. Hold on. Wow. 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 So this is the salt. It's extracting salt from the lake. Wow. And it's black, man. Can I enter? Me. Go, go there. You go. Are you sure? No, it's not problem. It's not deep. It's not deep. No. Okay, you know what? Okay, if you like, you go. I go inside. Yes. You know what? I need to face my fear, man. Can I come in? Hey, no, man. Man, the water is hot. Jeez, it's hot, man. Wow. Okay, you gotta show me how you take the salt. Wow. And like this. Okay. Wow. All right. All right. Alone. Alone. And then take this. Wow, it's so salty. Man. One, two, three, like this. One, two, three. Let's go. I'm gonna put my whole cloth inside. Oh, too much water. Is it okay? <laughs> Can you guys see this? Your boy, Mr. Mai, is right here extracting salt right here in the car, man. Hey, but, um, oh, thank you. How many, how many tons do they get? One, one ton a day. Seven hours. One ton. Uh huh. Six hours in the morning. He comes in the morning. Wow. So after seven hours, the boat is full. And he goes away. So where is the factory? Over there. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, he takes the water away from the boat. Oh, okay. Okay, so some people in here are from Mali, Guinea, and Senegal. I think this salt is um, exported to West African countries. So you can see the salt in here. This is like, the, the, it's really black. And you put it in the sun, this is gonna turn white. So this is where they get your salt from. Mm. So 
salty, man. The water, 380 In the wall. In the wall. The first. Yeah, I saw it. The area, eh? The area of the water. Yeah, I saw it's like 30, 30. 30 kilometer? 380 grams. 380 grams? Yeah, 380. So 38 km per. Yeah, meter square. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Oh, wow. We go to the. Very hard job. It's a very hard job. Seven hours. That's not. Mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 no. oh! <laughs> you can feel that salt is underneath you. Okay. One, okay. One, two, three. I'm coming in. Oh shit! <laughs> You know what? Right now I feel like my whole body is sticky. Like you know okra. Like damn it, I don't know the word to express this, but I wanna go and see the the factory, yeah? Let's go. Um I wanna know why the lake is not pink today. Today, like not pink. Yeah. Why not have that windy? In the windy, in the sun, the like is pink. Why? See the windy come here, mm -hmm. the water move. Yeah. And the, the bacteria come out outside the lake. Uh -huh. The sun is pink. You know? The, the what is pink? The lake is pink. The color. The color. The color from the algae. Yeah, yeah. The red pigment. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So what he's saying is that today the lake is not pink. The reason behind it is that this water contains what? A bacteria. And that bacteria's name is what? Banuela salina. Yeah, this bacteria contains that. So the more the wind blows, it blows the bacteria, of which the bacteria produce what? A red pigment. And this red pigment absorbs the sunlight, which will give you what? The pink color. My science is in here today man. but anyway we are heading to the salt factory let's go and check it out how salt are being made and exported from pink lake to different parts of west africa Aya Maya. this is really shocking man can you see the mountains over there these are salt mountains, that's how I call it. Wow! So what is the best time to visit in order to find a pink lake? Uh, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, the color. Wow! So if you want to come and see the pink lake, make sure you come on the days that he mentioned. Yeah? And here June, July, no, not That was unfortunate. I came at the wrong time. Talk about a woman. He's telling us not to film. He's telling us not to film them. Ah, Africa, Africa, Ghana, Ghana. Ah, Africa. Ghana. So the guy that you saw over there, the one extracting the salt, these two women over here are the wives of the man over there, which means that polygamy still exists in Africa. So immediately he brings the boat over here, they will carry the salt from here to that place. But let me try and see whether I can help them carry it, yeah? I wanna help you, I wanna help you carry it to there. Money, give money. I don't have money. Ah, give money. I don't have money, I just wanna help you. Fast, fast. Fast, fast. I help you, I help you, carry it, carry it. Yeah. From Ghana, from Ghana, Africa, Africa, Africa. You don't have to put this down. You have to hold it. You okay? Okay, another one? No, I need to go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. This mm -hmm. was my job. And in Ghana, sand, you know sand? Yes, sand, yes. I carry sand yes. to sell. Uh, okay. You go for like when I was in Ghana, mm -hmm. we need to go look for sand. For sand, yes. And then carry mm -hmm. sand and stones so, yes. and carry on our head and then go and sell it. Ah, okay. So this is nothing to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the woman said you is very strong. Strong. <laughs> yeah, I've done it. I've done it before. So I know how they do it. Yeah, I see they are surprised. They were like, "Oh, you know." Yeah. You said this boat? Okay, this six month, six month. The boat is dive. Oh, six months. Six months, yes. Why? You can change because the salt. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's a good story. So, like in 6 months you don't have to use the boat again. That's interesting because of the salt. salt yes. Wow. Good. So all these things are salt, eh? Is this salt, yes. All of them. This is salt. Okay. Wow. Did, did they add any chemicals to the salt? No. See the salt to come. Yeah. It's black. Okay. In one week in the sand is white. After finish, after the the, the, the cooperative uh -huh. gives iron. Iron. After the people put here iron. Uh -huh. After put the bag. Bag. Just iron. Just iron. Iron put here. That's it. So he had it from him. We get the water from there, which is black. You guys saw it. They come and put the salt over here, and then after this one, the sun will shine on it with iodine on top, and then they package it. Okay. So this is um, the salt that we use in Ghana. Can you guys see it? This is the big ones, like my mom will know this. We used to cook with this one in the house and the grinded one, that is what most of you use in your various homes, but my mom prefers this one more than the other one. Yeah. All right. Okay. And here, and here, no machine. Only artisanal work. No machine. No machine. No machine. Everything is wet machine man. Is entered it. Wow. Because see the, see the people put here the machine, the man not have a job. Yeah. So, here, one one thousand people collecting his salt. So the woman, the the man and the woman. Yeah. One thousand people. So in here, he's saying that one thousand people is just manpower. No machine in here. This is a beautiful experience. I'm glad that I didn't even meet the Pink Lake, which have brought my attention on other things that I think most of you need to know. It's all about telling our own story. It's all about Africa to the world. All you need to do is to support the movement. Donate a dollar, because. We are bringing you stories right from the continent. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing episode. My feet is hurting, man, because the ground is really hot. <laughs> I am my... This is my beautiful Africa that the media is not showing you. We are going to change the narratives, man. Africa to the world is here to stay. We are changing the narratives one video after the other one country after the other man from senegal you are heading to gambia wait for us man but don't forget to support the movement we need your support but one thing that you need to know about this place is that you can even see people riding what a quiet bike in here so apart from the lake we also have the sea behind there and we also have a desert so you can you know Enjoy yourself by riding what? A quiet bike around. I am Maya. This place is really beautiful. The car really impressed me, man. Don't say that I'm not from Dakar, I'm not from Senegal, so I'm not gonna share this video. Share to a friend. Let them know that there is a lake in Dakar called La Rose. That's what. The pink lake. I am Maya. Peace out.